My name is Eunice Kamal, research assistant. I do research and monitoring of avifauna on Lewa Wildlife Conservancy. Having studied wildlife in campus, we studied all aspects of wildlife and for me I had passion since I was young because I've been brought up in a rural setup and you see birds, some of them uh, got persecuted by people and then that passion that just comes in and then you want to know why, why is it happening and so once I studied and uh, saw there's a gap even in conservation of birds so I developed that passion and until now that's what I'm doing. Birds are important to us. For example, one, we have um, birds are used as ecological indicators and therefore monitoring especially their population closely makes it possible to see any changes in the environment because as we said, it's used as environmental indicators. And then secondly, we, uh, we have avitourism which uh, promotes uh, tourism in Kenya. So some people just uh, come to see birds because they are birds, uh, they have passion in birds. And some birds are very beautiful when you see them and therefore it also promotes avitourism. For example, we have a fish eagle when there's presence of fish eagles in a certain wetland then that means that that wetland is ecologically healthy but once you see that uh, the population has gone down then you have to question the health of that ecosystem the health of that wetland what we generally do especially now here on lewa we usually monitor uh, the water birds we also monitor the raptors we also generally do general bird surveys where uh, the surveys are aimed at keeping an updated list for all the birds on Lewa. On Lewa we have more than 450 different bird species and therefore we have to be in the field as many times as possible so that we can keep that list as updated as possible also. And we also have bird walks through our bird club which has more than 40 participants or uh, 40 members and therefore they also uh, bring their their input in updating our bird checklist. Water birds are used to measure the health of the ecosystem, especially when it comes to wetlands. And therefore we have to keep a close monitoring of the population, how the population is uh, just going, is it declining, is it stable, uh, is it constant. Uh, so we have to uh, go out there, we count the water birds and that one will now tell us is there a decline? Then we question the health of our wetlands. Then if the population is okay, then that means that the ecosystem is healthy. And for the water birds, we also participate in the national events. For example, we participate in the annual water bird count that is held annually by the National Museums of Kenya. Lewa uh, host like more than 150 uh, grey crown cream, which is an endangered species. And therefore, Lewa has been a very successful breeding ground for the endangered grey crown cream. And also, we also participate in the national census, like the one was held uh, last year for the national count of all the grey crown creams in Kenya. Uh, we have the swamp. The Lewa swamp has been um, a very, has played a very key role in the success of the breeding of the grey crown cranes because they can, we, we have reduced predation and therefore the chicks can fully survive. We also have the tall grass and therefore the chicks can be able to survive and evade predation that um, most tree faces the chicks when they are young. And therefore we have the tall trees here that um, the great crown cream come and roost here. So the habitat is favorable for them. 
it's one thing that many people uh, don't understand but the vultures yes they feed on carcass but uh, the fact that they feed on carcass they save us they save us from uh, the diseases because the carcass harbor microorganisms for diseases like anthrax this disease can spread very fast to other wildlife to human beings and therefore the vultures now come in and they are like our garbage collectors and therefore they prevent us from getting those diseases.